So Christmas is over, the turkey's eaten, and the house is looking pretty bare. Lynn, what can we do to spruce it up now? Well, you know, January is a very dark month, and once you take all your decorations down, the house can feel almost hollow. So one of the great things to think about that time of year is it's good to create extra light. When you get home from work, you can put something in, you can get light reflected. So what I've chosen is a mirror. Now you can find mirrors, you might have one hanging on a wall somewhere you don't want to use. A framed one would be beautiful too. I've taken this mirror and I've chosen these vases and I've picked seashells because that's a great thing to think about. Even if you're not going to get to a beach this year, you can think about one. You might have seashells at home that you, are, uh, that you could use and they're easy to find in craft shops and we certainly have them here. So if you have a look at this one, I've just put some rocks in the bottom and then the seashells and a beautiful one particular seashell that's quite pretty and set it inside there. Then there's tiny seashells in here which is, and it's beautiful because they float. So you get that extra feeling of uh, being in the water. I'm just gonna add some floating, now I'm gonna use these battery operated tea lights because that float because they're just so safety conscious but also a floating candle would be beautiful. I'm gonna scatter some seashells on the surface. If you had a little sand from somewhere you've been, even if it's only your play box outside, that would work. And then I've chosen this seashell. So when I come home from work at the end of the day, and it's four o'clock and it's dark and I'm hungry, I can put this on and have a look at it and I can think that I'm someplace warmer even if I'm not. So it's a great idea in January when we're into that long, dark month. Hope this helps you uh, with some ideas for after Christmas.